Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's glowing frosting tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make a perfectly pipeable frosting that actually glows, not quite in the dark, but under black light, which is almost as good. You will need a black light to activate the glowing properties of this frosting. I have just a small one here. They're available in a lot of good novelty shops, party shops. I picked this one up on eBay for about $5 if I remember correctly. I would also like to pay homage to foodsnots.com where I saw the original recipe and idea for this particular concept, a great concept, and they've got a lot of fantastic things on their blog if you'd like to go over and check it out. Ingredients that we will be using today, I have 250 grams of vegetable shortening. In Australia, our most popular brand is Kofa. If you're in another country, just straight vegetable shortening is what you're looking for. And the equivalent to that is one cup or 8.5 ounces. I've got one teaspoon of clear vanilla extract. I'm using clear vanilla extract because we don't want to add any additional color to this frosting. So try not to use regular vanilla. Clear is what you're looking for. And I'm just using a Wilton clear vanilla. I've got six cups, 900 grams or 30 ounces of powdered sugar, also known as confectioner's sugar or icing sugar. And finally, our magic ingredient. I've got three quarters of a cup, 165 grams or 5.5 ounces of tonic water, just straight tonic water. The magic ingredient is called quinine and it's found in tonic water. You can see here, next to a bottle of just regular lemonade, the actual glowing properties of tonic water. I've got my kofa at room temperature and I've got it chopped up into four or five big chunks. We're going to start mixing and we're going to slowly add in spoonfuls of our confectioner's sugar alternating with that lovely tonic water. Before I start the mixer I'm going to pop in the vanilla essence. I'm going to mix that on quite a low speed and stop the icing sugar from going absolutely everywhere as we add it. So this is our vegetable shortening and vanilla extract mix. You can see that we've beaten it until it's come up quite white and it looks quite fluffy. So it's no longer that clear vegetable shortening. It actually almost looks like frosting, but I haven't yet added any of that sugar. I'm going to start adding the sugar, just a couple of spoonfuls at a time. As I mentioned, as soon as the sugar's dissolved, I'm then going to add just a splosh of the tonic water. First few spoonfuls can go in. And I'm going to keep that mixer on a nice low speed. So I might put three or four of the spoonfuls in. I'm doing it this way so that we don't get a massive dust storm of icing sugar everywhere. confectioner's sugar, all of our tonic water. I've been mixing that on the lowest speed, so speed one, which is the slowest speed on my mixer. That's been going for about five minutes. Now that I'm happy that all of those ingredients are well combined, I'm going to turn it on to high speed and I'm going to let it mix for a further five minutes. finished. It's a lovely consistency. I'm very happy with that. So let's put it to some use. I'm going to show you how to pipe just a couple of very easy little ghosts using our frosting. So I've got just a disposable piping bag and I've paired that with the Loyal number 20 piping nozzle. It is one of my favorite nozzles if you've watched some of our other tutorials. I'm just going to scoop some of that lovely icing into the piping bag. Push it all the way down to the end until it's just popping out the end of the nozzle. Alright, 
so we're going to start in the center and I'm just going to pipe around coming up into a nice point for the top of our ghost's head I've got two brown mini M&Ms turn him around find his best side pop in two brown mini M&Ms for eyes and there you have our three adorable ghosts let's see these babies glow If you do want to apply this technique to colour, go over to Food Snot's blog and have a look. There is quite a bit more to it than just adding colour to this recipe. If you're enjoying our videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and thanks very much for watching.